There are many mangas, webtoons, web novels and animes that became successful TV dramas but there are also many manga slash animes I wish to be adapted to live action series. Before I show my wish list, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for YouTube algorithm. 1. Skip Beat this is a story about a once sweet girl named Kayoko Megame who worked multiple jobs and lived a frugal life to support her childhood friend and first love, Shotaro Fuwa. One day, she overhears Shotaro complaining about her to his manager, saying that she is a boring and plain girl who he thinks of as a doormat. He proceeds to sweet talk and flirt with his manager, in stark contrast to the cold and demanding attitude he usually exhibits towards Kayoko. As a result, she snapped and opened her Pandora's box, vowing vengeance on Sho. As she is carried away by security, Sho mockingly tells her that if she wants revenge, she had better become a bigger star than he is. And so, Kayoko changes her appearance and enters the entertainment industry. This manga does have an anime and a Taiwanese live-action drama adaptation named Extravagant Challenge but both of them have an incomplete and open-ended ending which made me unsatisfied despite its potential. The manga itself is still ongoing and there is much material to use. So I think it will be a great live-action drama if they give it another chance. I think making it into a C-drama would be ideal because their episodes are usually 24 to 40 episodes, which means it can accommodate many of the materials in the manga and hopefully can create a conclusion in the story, despite the manga still ongoing. For the female lead actress, I would cast Nikki Lee as Kyoko or Gong Shiyi because she can do sweet and fierce roles naturally. For the male lead, I would cast Su Kai Chang as Ren Suruga or Dun Hellion because of his mature looks and nurturing aura. I also think he can pull off playful yet serious character like the male lead. For the snobbish second male lead, Shotaro Fuwa or Bupo Shang, I would cast Jason Ku because he can sing which is a must for a pop star and he can really act as an arrogant and narcissistic celebrity. I would definitely watch Skip Beat if they made a live drama immediately if it airs. 2. Kimini to do K? From Me to You A story about a high school girl Sawako Kuronama dubbed Seideko by her classmates for her resemblance to the character from the ring has always been feared and misunderstood because of her appearance. Rumors around school report that she can see ghosts and curse people. However, despite her ominous appearance, she is actually a sweet and unassuming girl who only longs to be helpful. She has been shunned for so long that the idea of making friends has become foreign to her. When a boy, the popular boy Shota Kazihaya, begins talking with her, everything changes. She finds herself in a new world, making new friends and talking to different people. Slowly, but surely, a sweet love blossoms between the two as they overcome circumstances and obstacles that stand in their way. This manga has an anime and a Japanese live-action movie adaption but a live-action drama would be even better because it can add more details and subplots the movie wasn't able to depict due to limited screen time. A J-drama or K-drama adaptation would be ideal for this manga, though I prefer K-drama because they tend to have longer episodes compared to J-dramas. Because I'm more familiar with K-dramas, I would cast K-drama actors. For the female lead, Sawako, I would cast Yung Ji So because of her creepy and mysterious look as God and Doom at your service and her awkward yet cute role as a rookie K-pop idol in imitation. I think she'll be great in acting as a creepy looking but adorable cinnamon role. For the role of our male lead, Kazihaya, I would cast Ko Chen Yi. Though I only knew him because of his role as the likable Shin Dion in the BL web drama, Light on Me, I can see him being great as the male lead because that is exactly who Kazuhiya is, a sweet, caring, and friendly young man. This manga is really sweet and romantic so I really hope they give this manga a chance to make this into a drama. 3. Lovely Complex Many fans love the height differences between the male and female leads, with the male lead being the tall one. In this manga, the female lead, Risa Koizumi, 
is taller than an average girl and usually is taller than most boys in her school while the male lead, Atsushi Otani, is shorter than an average boy. Because of their height, they struggle to find love. At first they were at odds with each other, but decided to put aside their differences and help each other get their love interests. Soon, they became close friends. As they get to know each other better and bond, Risa's feelings for Atsushi begin to blossom, and her love life gets complicated from there on. There is an anime and a Japanese live-action adaptation movie and I quite enjoyed them. A live-action drama would definitely make it better because it gives the audience a chance for the leads to see their development as a person and soon as a couple in a more paced manner. A J-drama is really ideal, even though I don't know much J-drama actors and actresses, I found actors who would be great as leads. For the male lead, I think Kyutie, strong-looking actors like Kei Inu would be great in this role because the characters seem to be confident, fun yet vulnerable, and insecure because of his height. The female lead is a tough one because she needs to look tall. The female lead actress in the movie has to wear high heel shoes to look tall. An actress who can act as a cheerful and fun girl but also shy and awkward would be great. A model actress like Marie Aitoyo would be ideal. Overall, I think this would be a really fun rom-com drama. 4. Kamasama Kiss This is probably my favorite romance, fantasy anime. It's about a homeless human girl named Nanami who accidentally became an earth deity. With no place to go, she is forced to leave in the shrine where the original earth deity leaves. She also has to leave with yokai shrine attendants and her newly contracted familiar Tomoe, who is a fox demon. As the story progresses Nanami finds herself falling in love with Tomoe, but he rejects her because the love between a human and a yokai is taboo. Despite saying that, Tomo finds himself falling in love with her too. With so many fox demon male leads in Asian dramas nowadays, I think a live adaptation of this manga slash anime would be welcomed by fans. While most of the characters are based on Japanese folklore, I think C-dramas and K-dramas can find alternative counterparts based on their own folklore. I don't know much about Asian folk tales, so don't scold me too much about not knowing about them. If a live adaptation happens, I prefer it to be a sea drama because there are many dramas especially in Zionzia dramas that involve gods, demons and other mythical creatures. I would cast Lee Hong Yi as the male lead because he was great at playing the anti-hero male lead in love more than immortality. He exudes the bad guy persona that the audience would still want to swoon over and root for despite his obvious darkness. While I would cast either Irene Song or Shen Yu as the female lead, because they are really good at acting roles who are tenacious and hardworking during tough times yet cheerful and warm despite facing hardships. I think this will be an epic and fantastic drama if this gets a green light. 5. High School Debut This manga is about Haruna Nagashima, a high school girl who played softball and was devoted to manga in middle school. Now that she has made her high school debut, she has decided to give it her all for a new goal, getting a boyfriend and falling in love. However, she has one small problem. She has no idea how. But a chance encounter with the popular Yokomi Yama provides her with the opportunity she needs. If he coaches her in how to become attractive, surely she can find herself a boyfriend. He agrees to coach Haruna after her great persistence, but on one condition, she mustn't fall in love with him. While it is your typical rom-com story, I would love to see it in a live-action drama. It did have a live-action movie, but like most movie adaptations, the movie was not able to fully show everything from the manga because of limited time. Because it looks like a classic idol drama, a K-drama adaptation be perfect. I would cast Lee Du Haiyan because he's a great actor and he has a handsome face that could act cold and warm at the same time which I think is good since he'll act as a mature and strict coach for our female lead. For the female lead, I would cast Kim Hyun Ji because of her cute, innocent image and she seems to be able to act characters with bright and cheerful personalities. That's the end of my wish list. What other mangas or weapons do you think should become a live-action drama? 
comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.